Hey Resin family, Kitty here. Cheerful to see you in Interaction Treasure. And in this video, we are going to see the stepper nav animation. Yeah, guys, here is the demo. And there are three kind of interaction is associated in the stepper nav animation. The first interaction is this nav menu. The second interaction is the stepper grow. Third is this textual animation. Looks great, right? So we are going to see this by step by step. So no more wait. We are entered into the canvas. Yeah, I already mentioned to you. Uh, we are not going to do the design like spacing, coloring or any kind of alignment kind of things. We are only focusing on the prototype. So there are three kind of steps I already mentioned for each step. Uh, I provide a starter kit for you so there is no need to start from this and you start from here so first we have to focus on the step one so the step one is menu so what we are trying to achieve is when we hover this now menu the irregular lines get regular means the irregular alignment one line is towards the right one one line is towards the left so when we hover it it will be aligned centrally so this looks great right when we click it it's pretty much become like a close icon so we have to do this three animation in now menu so first in this step on in the starter kit we just copy this and paste it here yeah it is pasted here so we have to rename it as default then just press the option key and drag it and rename it as hover when we hover what we have to try to achieve guys just select these two lines and center align it and again press option key and drag it now we want to achieve the close so just select the one line and uh, change the angle to 40 degree and select the second line and change this to minus 40 degree for the opposite angle now select this two line and horizontally center and vertically center so we have to change the stroke color to white the reason is the stepper is in purple color so there is no more usage of purple here so we move to white so finally these guys are ready for component so select all these three and create multiple component and combine as variants so we have to rename the component as now menu superb so these are all ready for prototyping yeah finally we go to done the prototyping for this three menu so just press the shift T to enter into the prototype so here is the blue circle just drag it our trigger is while hovering so while hammering it will be triggered the animation will be smart animate and yeah ease out is fine and we have to change it uh, no ease out is already we used it right so try with the different so gentle 800 is fine and again drag it but here our trigger is on click so that's completely fine smart animate gentle but uh, there is no need to 800 400 is enough so this is ready for to test the prototype so in step one we already provide the screen so just copy it select the frame and just press command c enter into design mode just press the shift into enter into design mode mm, i have to clear you one thing press the shift e makes switch between uh, design and prototype so uh, if i want to go to design press shift e. if i want to go to prototype press shift e. it's same guys yeah so now press the command v yeah it's pasted so just copy this now menu copy it and here is the place for the now menu so select it 
and press shift option command V paste to replace shortcut yeah here it is so now we have to create the prototype flow just press to create the flow now enter into the prototype mode yeah we are now going to check how it will come yeah it's loaded guys any guess how it will come yeah it's come very well fine that's completely fine yeah finally we done the step one so our step two is have any guess yes our weighted part so what we are trying to achieve here is when we click it the stepper will grow this is our second ultimate goal so just select all this four frames this is a just the frames guys the rectangle shaped frames so select all things and copy it and one more thing why i arranged this like steps because we want the stepper kind of thing right if we aligned it uh, vertically centered uh, there is no more this step kind of feel we didn't get that stepper animation so i just arranged it in this step like form so select this to step one and enter into uh, design mode and press command v oh my hellness it will be placed here okay no more worries guys just staggered yeah it will be placed very good and just press spacebar and shift to avoid the alignment mess okay it will be out the this step on just drag it and we have to make sure one thing the nav menu should be in the upper because when we click it everything will be hide but the nav menu will be in the top of everything so we make sure the nav menu will be in the top i want to tell you one more thing as the layering is more important in prototyping cases so make sure this kind of steps so now just press the option key and drag it okay we get the second screen so we just gradually move this thing yeah and aligned it bottom so it's aligned it yeah now it's perfect we have to make sure once they are entered into this it will be into close oh where is the close okay i think we forgot to rename it yeah <laughs> absolutely so we change it to close now here is the icon so into the close we will get it so we are these two frames are ready for prototyping so just select this menu and drag it when on click smart animate we there is no need to gentle we move to easy and out and change it to 1200 millisecond for a smooth and long animation and select again this close and back to here so here is in now that's fine but there is no need here so just change it to 800 milliseconds yeah now it's ready to test it so enter into the prototype mode yeah when we have it this will be perfectly fine wow it's work great okay yeah our crucial part is done guys then we have to celebrate it <laughs> surely we have to celebrate it <laughs> okay zero make sure the space in between this uh, space between the frames should be in the zero because if there is any gap the background will show here that light pink so make sure it will be in zero so the two steps is done so we move to the nav menu that means nav items yeah 
none other than this text animation what we are to trying to achieve in text animation is the text reveal once we click it it will be revealed from top to bottom when we close it it will be hide from bottom to top and a yeah, angled look as well so it looks a bit complex right but it's super easy i am pretty sure about that i will reveal the secrets guys so just select all this thing and press command c and paste it here okay in every text will be inside a frame the frame name is nav item and the text is inside the frame so i have to make sure one more time so nav item inside the text text is inside nav item frame inside the text is placed here okay these are all ready for that text animation so what we are going to do is just press command and select the text and make the angle 28 and just press shift and the up arrow to move it up okay everything will be moved up and one more thing we have to make sure is every nav item frame will be selected with clip content because when it clipped only the interaction will be triggered so select all this thing and press command c and select this desktop to and place it here and again select it and press option key and drag it okay we had this 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 so just select the text alone so text shift plus command to select the text alone and make it 0 degree and sh press shift and down arrow to get into the view so finally to get into the view and again select this and press the option key to drag it why i duplicate this screen is because once they close it it will be come here and go to the screen if they click this menu it will be go this screen and then this screen uh, so here you now you have a doubt why directly if we close directly go into here right why we have this okay i got your doubt but the uh, what the reason is uh, now i explain it press shift e so here and uh, there is only one trigger is happened but uh, how this screen is changed to this screen in prototyping is we give it the after delay after delay 1 millisecond 400 millisecond easy now to slow for the especially the text animation we make the another screen here so we give it as after delay so when they close it this prototype will be go here because if we give this arrow to this desktop to that will make the confusion like uh, when we give it if you click this close icon it will again back to this screen not to this front screen because we give a after delay here so it again again back to desktop 2 it will hang here that's why we are making the another uh, screen so we have to make this arrow to be in desktop 4 yeah it's fine now and there is no more 800 millisecond it is only 400 and slow and we have to make sure the after delay will be here and select the after delay 1 millisecond and slow 600 it's fine we have to check it I hope this is done we have to check it now press the 
Z if you want to into the zoom selection so just press Z so when we have it this is um, and finally done as well so when we click it wow it's come very well what we are expect that uh, actually the output here so yes we done it we done it okay there is some long delay will be happened here right once we are close it will be some little bit delay happened here mm, we have to check it now 1 millisecond 600 so we have to change it to 400 millisecond i think now it's getting speeder right yeah it's good okay finally we then hope you get the key concepts and uh, happy prototyping and one more important thing is practice is more important guys so practice make a perfect prototyping keep practicing and uh, i provide the community file in the video description and more videos related to this prototyping will be in the video description kindly check it and happy prototyping